Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, for this uh, very good hearing on oversight and, and wonderful to see the commissioners here today. Um, Chairwoman Remittis, this uh, Friday a sports tradition will play out across New Mexico and the nation. High school teams will take to the gridiron and the soccer pitch, and we absolutely want to encourage young people to play sports, but we want them to do so safely. And parents and coaches have good reason to be concerned about the dangers of concussions. The National Academy of Sciences has stated that all concussions involve some level of injury to the brain. And earlier this month, the NFL said it will provide $100 million for medical and engineering research on concussion, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, and player health. This follows the blockbuster movie Concussion, starring Will Smith as the doctor who first diagnosed CTE in a professional football player. The NFL denied the dangers of CTE and concussion for far too long, and it has been dangerously slow to act before now. So its announcement is significant. We should welcome these new resources and encourage more. But this isn't just about the million-dollar pros. This is about our kids. CTE has been found in former high school athletes. We can't just accept what the NFL-funded research finds. Medical research must be peer-reviewed and unbiased, and efforts to find an engineering solution or new technology to prevent concussion may prove elusive. We also need agencies like the FTC engaged and ready to take action. For example, when it comes to sport, sports products that prevent concussions, it is understandable that parents and players want to buy such products. But the National Academy's report found there is no scientific evidence to support claims that sports gear such as mouth guards and soccer headbands reduce the risk of concussion. It found little evidence that football helmets can reduce concussions. And fortunately, some irresponsible sports equipment makers falsely claim that their products protect against head injuries, and that may give players a false sense of safety and lead them to take risks. Former University of New Mexico soccer star Alexis Ball testified in this committee that she felt she could play more aggressively when wearing so-called anti-concussion headgear. Concussion experts warn that this is dangerous. It puts kids at greater risk of injury, including permanent brain damage, from second impact syndrome. I'm pleased that this committee approved legislation I sponsored to crack down on these false claims. I continue to work with stakeholders to enact it this year, and time's really running short to get this done. Chairman Ramirez, here is just one current example of a dangerous anti-concussion marketing claim. The shock doctor is a leading mouth guard for youth sports. It is the official mouth guard of USA Football and sponsors its concussion awareness program, Heads Up Football. Approximately one million young athletes are enrolled in Heads Up Football. So I'm deeply concerned by shock doctors' false claims that its mouth guards prevent concussions. Shock doctor mouth guards, and, and I'm quoting right here from this, this uh, 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 product, it promises Hard, it, it, it promises it would, uh, will absorb shock to help protect against brain concussions. It promises hardcore protection and fearless performance. Shock Doctor even encourages this false sense of security when it states that, and this is what it states about its product, many athletes report that they perform better with a properly fitting mouth guard. Maybe it's because with extra protection, you aren't afraid to really throw yourself into the tackle, the face-off, the draw, or the scrum. So Chairwoman Ramirez, the FTC previously sent warning letters to sports equipment makers and retailers about these types of advertising claims. Do you agree that this type of anti-concussion marketing constitutes a deceptive practice and that could put young athletes at real risk of injury? 
Senator, um, thank you for your question. Um, I absolutely agree that this is a very serious issue, and as you've noted, um, the agency has sent warning letters to companies about these types of, of claims. Um, absolutely concerned about um, deceptive claims that ha lack substantiation. I appreciate you bringing this particular issue to my attention, and I assure you that we will take a very close look. Yeah, and we, we really appreciate the earlier letters, and we want you to to uh, stay on guard and stay on top of this. As you know, earlier this year, the committee approved my Youth Sports Concussions Act, which would increase the potential FTC penalties for such unscrupulous advertising. I'm working with Senate colleagues to get this important bill signed in this Congress, and it's past time to put an end to these uh, dangerous anti-concussion marketing claims for youth sports. Thank you, and thank you for your courtesies, Mr. Chairman.